Wow. And I'm like, that that was his pitch, though, because it got so weird out there. It's like, no, you still want your money in these investments, and you want it with me because I'm certainly losing less than the other guys. I'm using wow. mine to put equity in my home. And as a consumer, I'm like, what? Yep. that doesn't make me feel good. No. I, I don't know. Pay- my, my accountant called me like after the biggest uh, crash October, day, November, yeah, and he said, uh, "You're the only person I got good news for because uh, <laughs> you don't have any fucking money." <laughs> you <can't laughs> he said, "You're the only client I have who lost nothing." He today. called you to make himself feel <laughs> yeah, better. Exactly. <laughs> because I had no. Yeah, such I had a rough nothing. day. He's like, "Who on this yeah, list is exactly?" I could call to you. Don't, you don't. You just. Up. You really don't know what to do uh, with your with your cash. No, I just put it in. Uh, like I said, I. I Put it in my home equity. I just paid mortgage. Fuck, what else can you do? It's like, I'm sick of paying the that's bank interest. I See, and, then, and then I go, yeah, because yeah, that's the other thing people say. The one thing that's, you know, uh, that land is perfect because there's always more people. There's never more land. Yeah. And, blah, but blah, then blah, I blah. think, no, but then there's going to be the revolution. And yeah, the brown course. people are going to say, you don't steal my land. I don't care what your lease says. <laughs> I don't care what your title says. <laughs> I, that's why you need to head. buy guns. <laughs> one of the, <laughs> one of the, <laughs> you need to buy a gun guns and, and, and land. <laughs> one of the solutions to the, the woes out there, the economic woes. Woes is a situation. <laughs> is what? A situation. Less people. Ah, uh, situ- oh, plague or something. Some kind of situation will um, well, we make, are a, reaching make things a lot of, better. We're Close. reaching some kind of limits here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. not... There's just not... You know, the thing is, it's another reason, again, why it's good that this shit's happening, <laughs> because you can't keep getting more... This w- idea of wealth that's not based on, hey, we just found more stuff in America and we're yeah. selling it to other places. Right. It's just we're selling each other experience and orgasms <laughs> and just trading money to the point where there's just money that's not based in anything. It's not based on some gold. Yeah. It's not based on that we're carting more fucking oats mm-hmm. to China. It's this... We're selling our debt to China. That's our big... You know that thing that people say now that that's our biggest export is debt. Debt. Did you know sure. that? Yeah, yeah. That out outstrips by far any cars we make or any steel. Yeah, we sell them it's debt. debt. It's the biggest thing that we sell is buy some of our debt, and now we owe you the money instead of to, to we owe you Bank money of America. Plus. Yeah, so that's plus what we're... Why wouldn't that crumble? Why wouldn't that stop and go like, well, there's not more Because we have atom bombs. <laughs> Like, that's what I mean. No, I know, but we inside, have but bombs. it's not going to be an invasion. It's an implosion. It's just that we don't have the fucking resources or the, or even the education no, or I think knowledge eventually or the talents or to the sustain wherewithal. all this shit. Uh, wherewithal. The wherewithal, Jimmy. Well, I think you. eventually we'll just say, we're not paying you back. And then if you argue with it, we will just drop no, huge bombs on you. That's fine, but we don't have anything that. to give each other anymore. We right. don't have anything. At some point, you tap Come out. Come up with a widget. It's just widgets. They're just yeah. fake things. Just another. We're just trading widgets for yeah. paper. Yep. For imaginary things that are worth little thing. fucking no, little things on no, an abacus. I remember <laughs> I was in Arizona once and I stopped at a gas station that's also a Nathan's Hot Dogs <laughs> <Yeah>. Subway. Wow, <laughs> in Arizona. Subway, yeah. Dunkin' Donuts, uh, uh, Baskin Robbins, yeah, 7-Eleven nice. store. And this w- this pasty, skinny, malformed, white American kid with like chunks out of his hair. Like he did it, just cut his own hair like he was brushing it in the morning yeah. just to keep the length down. <laughs> you know, I just pictured him looking in the mirror half asleep, like literally just using scissors like they're a comb. Yeah. And then he's, so he's selling a, a fucking Subway sandwich to a dude that's him. Just, yeah. There's no guy. difference between the two guys. He made it for him. They're just both sleepy. Uh, can you put onions on it? And he goes, yeah, these onions? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then at some, I looked at them. I'm like, why don't you just eat it? Who cares which one he eats it? <laughs> Who cares which one he eats it? <laughs> Nothing real. Like it's the exchange there. Oh, yeah, that's right. great. We're just, yeah, we're just these brilliant. people looking at each other glassy-eyed, making consumer choices to each other. Yeah. Yeah. One guy's getting paid and one guy's eating the thing, but who, what's yeah. the fucking difference? <laughs> what amazes me is where the, the world is drastically changing and 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 Bush, mm-hmm. this was all happening. And what? How yeah. did Bush skate? This I know. This how was all ready to happen, and and it, and he was just skating to the end of his presidency. Yeah. Did they see it though? Because really the whole did. world economy, the guy yeah. like London, yeah, they the had economy. to have seen no, they did. the signs, man. They did because all this, the seeds for this were planted a long time ago, and people just kept pushing off. He the just idea didn't want it on his watch. He, he didn't just want to get to the it. end of it. 
There's a great story in NPR that tells the entire story, like from fucking front to finish. It was this long, long thing they played. Right. Of course, it's I'm NPR. not fascinating how far back it went. I'm not blaming yeah. Bush, by the way. It was this was obviously just, all just developing while yeah. he was in office. Well, Clinton That's didn't all. help either. Sure. Clinton was another it's fucking Reagan man. But it finally, <laughs> but I guess what I'm trying to say is it was coming to a breaking point, and he was yeah. like, huh, not on my watch, man. No, get Obama in there and let him deal with this yeah. shit. Is Where's it, my helicopter? I'm out. Yep. Is it a bad time? Investments now, it's like. What, what do you buy into? Like, I, I invested, uh, there's a company, and what they do is they, they go to people's homes. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. And yeah. uh, they, they, it, they do oil paintings mm-hmm. of you and your family, and the paintings are about $8,000. <laughs> and uh, wow. this company is like $300 a share. And I think that in an economic crisis, people want oil paintings <laughs> of themselves for their families. <laughs> and what a to, wise investment. <laughs> mission during these tough to, times. To come and paint oil paintings of them. <laughs> 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 you know what? There is a story about this painter I saw on some, I think it was on 60 Minutes, this guy who's an American painter, and he paints just shitty landscapes like you see like in a hotel lobby. Yeah. But he became hot as a painter. Like People just really dig him. This is, to me, like a great example of what is wrong with the whole fucking <laughs> world country, really. And he paints these shitty landscapes. And they're so hot that he just makes prints of them. Like, they're just oh, yeah, reproductions. Yeah. But then he adds a couple of dabs of paint to the print to make it original Holy and then signs shit. his name and they and, and crazy Americans buy these for like $30,000 and then wow. they trade them like they're a big hot it's like a hobby to buy his paintings but people like mortgage their homes to buy his paintings they get obsessed so they showed him he flies into Houston they fl- in a private jet and goes to this big hall and it looks like a est meeting or something it's yeah. thousands of people like he's god and he and he's got a headset you know like uh, garth brooks like he's he and he's kind of like a garth brooksy cowboyish kind of guy i'm a painter man watch this shit <laughs> and they have all his paintings up on stage and he's signing them like super fast and the, some an assistant is just taking one away and he signs it takes another one away and he wow. signs it and he says everyone i sign is worth another ten thousand dollars and he signs and people are standing and applauding oh my god the, the uh that he's that he's just that he's just sparse. printing money people are so excited that he's rich and that they're giving him money. He must be like, uh, is it's he from a pla- another planet? Does he have hypnotic uh, like powers? He's just got that drive. He's got that thing that people like more than anything that somebody's successful and rich. They're so excited that somebody's rich. You know? I, I'd love to be like one of those people that can just go in front of a stadium and just talk about how great you are. And have people just be like, yes, yes, and they throw. Yeah. They're so excited and, that somebody they're pulled throwing it off. money. And it's usually some religious thing. You know, yeah. I gotta get a cult. It's a lot. There's there is a comedian in the world who succeeded that way. <laughs> oh, the, the well, thing that the yes. number one thing people love about that comedian is how successful he is. Like if you if you look at people right. writing about him, uh-huh. the first thing they say is, look how many of these he's sold, and look how good. And they yeah. don't, the, the the germ of like what he actually does that's arbitrary. He's like, a success story. Yeah. Look how many friends he has on this thing and look how much. Look at Tony Robbins. For years yeah. he was like fucking the lurch of uh, <laughs> the lurch <laughs> of, <laughs> of of being uh, uh, amazing. Yeah. And he'd get out there and just tell people how to how to make it. Yeah. And yeah. they were they were fucking like falling down crying watching yeah. this guy. How the how do you pull that mm-hmm. off? And, and a small mm-hmm. percentage of those people will ever make it, oh, even though please. they buy right into his concept. No, uh, it's Thomas amazing. Kincaid? None of them. What? Thomas Kincaid, the painter. That's I think that's his name. No, it's yeah. Ruben. Ruben Kincaid. Ruben. <laughs> that was well, the, Ruben's uh, his agent is his brother. <laughs> oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. Thomas is. Uh, is yeah. the Once painter. he got rid, rid of that that pain in the ass redheaded boy. <laughs> yes. He was able to concentrate on his brother's <laughs> career. Fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I was chasing after that little redheaded boy.